The fundamental difference with the XJ is the body shell is made from aluminium. Uh, that gives us a significant weight advantage, which in general usage means that we get better fuel economy and lower CO2 emissions. The, the key reason that, that we decided to use aluminium effectively was because of its weight. A lighter car is clearly going to make the car more fuel efficient. Um, it gives us the opportunity to, to get more power from the car in many ways, so the power to weight ratio is clearly improved with a lighter car. It has less inertia, so when you want to turn or brake or accelerate, you're actually using less energy to do that movement and that is a that's the real advantage of making something light but it's not until you get in and drive it and you think wow this is this is a really agile nimble car to drive and then you look at the the fuel gauge and you think I'm getting really good fuel economy out of this car. That's why aluminium is a perfect material because you get the weight benefits but if you design it efficiently and correctly and you understand it like we do then you're able to get the right strength properties out of the material, the right stiffness properties, it's a very very strong and safe structure. That to me kind of brought it home what a different type of proposition this is. Obviously the environmental pressures that we face now mean that we're thinking about not only better fuel consumption and lower CO2 during the use of the car, but we're actually thinking about the end of life of the car. The fact that we use a lot less energy in the production, both in the, in the joining construction and in the making of the material, means that we're making a real difference to the environmental performance of the XJ.